the fuck down. What's good, y'all? Y'all all right? Yeah. I've been doing comedy with this brother for how long? About what? 10, 15 years. Yeah. That nigga, uh, yeah. He's funny as fuck. Y'all give it up for my man, Rod West. Rod West in the house! <laughs> Sit on down, sit on down, sit on down, sit on down. Thank y'all for coming out tonight. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Give it up for me. I'm here, y'all. Give it up for me. Shit. Man, I'm getting old. I just turned 51. 51, y'all. Damn, my body has changed dramatically. When I turned 40, my body really changed. You know, when you turn 40, your body start changing. You know, when you're when you in your 20s and in your 30s, you can walk down the street just like this and everything be cool. But when you turn 40, you can be walking down the street and all of a sudden your knee go out. <laughs> you be like, God damn, what the fuck tripped me? You start looking on the ground for potholes and shit. You're like, man, somebody call an MLM. My knee fucked up. Mama. But when you turn 50, oh, it's a whole new beast. You can't hold your pee no more. <laughs> when your mind says you got to pee, you got to pee. I keep a piss cup with me everywhere I go, shit. I don't give a fuck. I'll pull up at 11 o'clock in the morning right in front of a church and pull that piss cup out and start pissing and tell the pastor I got to pee. I'm over 50. And when you get old, people start telling you different shit you don't want to hear. They start saying shit like, hey, what's up, OG? <laughs> you like, I don't know if that's respect or disrespect. <laughs> Motherfucker, I know I'm old, but you ain't got to tell me. <laughs> shit. You could have said, hey, what's up, brother? <laughs> Getting old ain't no joke. And if y'all see me walking funny, I'm doing like this because I got a hole in my sock. <laughs> and I keep kicking my foot back like this because I don't want my whole foot to go through my sock. <laughs> I ain't crippled or nothing. I just got a fucked up sock on. <laughs> Things have been different, man, in this world. You know, I'm broke to like the 15th power. <laughs> you just been so goddamn broke, you ask your kid to buy you something from the ice cream truck and they tell you no. <laughs> You be mad in the motherfucker, don't you? You just want to slap that big stick out their hand and be like, you ain't going to buy daddy nothing? You didn't buy me nothing last night, daddy. Forget you, huh? Daddy, you ain't shit. <laughs> I've been wearing my jeans for about two weeks without washing them. And you know when you iron dirty jeans, they start smelling like popcorn because they burn it? <laughs> You know how you can tell if you can put your jeans on again and again and again? You, you, you pick them up, you turn them around, and you smell the ass part. <laughs> and if the ass part smell good, you can put the motherfuckers right back on. <laughs> and take your happy ass wherever you're going. <laughs> wherever the fuck you going. <laughs> when you broke, you got to improvise. This fucking gas is too goddamn high, y'all. Gas is high as giraffe pussy, ain't it? This shit damn near $97 a gallon. <laughs> and you know, when you broke, you gotta improvise. I went to the gas station the other day. I drive a big ass bucket, y'all. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. I drive a big ass bucket, an old 83 Cadillac, big in a motherfucker. So it's hard for me to put $5 in my gas tank when it's a cute girl standing behind me in line. So I walk up to the gas, I walked up to the cashier and just threw the man the money and said, give me that on number five. <laughs> Habib, old hating ass, gonna get on the loudspeaker. You mean five on number five? I'm like, fuck you, Habib, you a hater. <laughs> you see this cute girl behind me trying to give me some pussy. She looking at me like, where the fuck you think he going around the corner? <laughs> Being broke is a motherfucker, man. 
And you know, when you broke, you are subjected to hang out with people you know you are not supposed to be hanging out with, like stinky breath people. There's some of y'all out there right now laughing all hysterically and shit. Your friend sitting next to you talking about, I wish this bitch laugh out her nose. Because <laughs> stinky breath people ain't no joke. They always want to walk up to you, say shit like, hey, how you doing? Motherfucker, I was doing good five minutes ago. Close your mouth. <laughs> but have you ever had a stinky breath person talk to you for so goddamn long? You get mad, and they try to act like they don't know why you mad. And they say some stupid shit like, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with your tongue, motherfucker? <laughs> but have you ever had a stinky breath person talk to you for so goddamn long, they mess around and spit on your lip? <laughs> oh my gosh, that shit happened to me the other day, y'all. One of my shitty mouth partners was eating a turkey burger. And he said something, and a piece of the turkey burger flew out his mouth. And I'm dodging this shit like the Matrix. But for some reason, I got stuck right with a piece of that turkey burger. And it hit me on the bottom of my lip. I was like, oh shit. Oh shit. You just spit on my goddamn lip. And I wanted to tell him that he spit on my lip, but then both my lips was gonna be fucked up. So I had to improvise and talk like I was a ventriloquist or something. I was like, now you know, you done shit on my goddamn lip, JD. JD, you like my goddamn lip like JD. You dirty motherfucker. You like my lip like JD. JD, you ain't shit. Why you gonna look like JD? You motherfucker, you. <sighs> JD, why you gonna look like I was dating this shitty mouth half of one time, boy. This bitch kissed me on my neck. My neck smell like doo doo for six weeks. <laughs> I was like, you little rotten mouth heifer, put some bleach on my neck. No, put some gas on my goddamn neck. Because y'all know how hard it is to get that shit smell off of you. You know, some of y'all done went to the bathroom, took a dump, wiped your ass, and your finger break through that tissue. <laughs> now you got to wash your hands about 658 times. You be like, why do I keep smelling shit? It's your ass, motherfucker. It's your ass. Don't be a meat eater all your life. Eat some vegetables and drink some water, you son of a bitch. You motherfucker, you. <laughs> I jacked off before I came up here tonight. <laughs> and this little bitch gonna, this little bitch gonna call me five minutes later talk about I'm on my way. I said, no, you're not. <laughs> Shit, I'm cool now, what fuck you mean? <laughs> That's out the way now. What, you had another bitch come over your house? Yep, Palmalia. <laughs> <laughs> we had a great time. <clears throat> I love sex, though, man. I, I, I love sex. Sex is like an amazing thing to me. Some people don't like to talk about sex, but I'm one of them dudes who like to have sex and talk about it at the same time. You know? Like, I, 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 I love the way women give head. I like the noises they make. You know that mwah, 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 mwah. That mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> Ladies, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that mwah, 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 mwah. Ladies, y'all have to know the slogan. Suck a dick today, keep another bitch away. If you give your man head early in the morning, he gonna go get some money later on. Cause on his mind, he not thinking about coming no more. Cause he already did it early in the morning. Cause you gave him that <laughs> But one thing about women, you guys are so sneaky. You guys are so sneaky to the point, y'all would have a man go down on y'all for 35, 45, 55 minutes, we come up, our face all frothy and shit. We got cramps all in our neck. We lay back waiting for y'all to reciprocate, reciprocate the favor. Y'all say some stupid shit like, I didn't tell you to do that. <laughs> like, bitch, you didn't tell me to stop either. <laughs> and ladies, when y'all give head, y'all like to dissect that thing. Y'all be like, Oh, 
What's all them bumps and stuff on there? Y'all want to give us head like it's a nine volt battery and shit. Y'all be like, why your thing taste like that? What is that? And then y'all want to say some shit like, well, I just jack it off then. You know, y'all be like, bitch, all them rings on your finger, my dick is bleeding. But y'all gotta stop tricking men, ladies, with this Wonder Bra shit. Y'all know exactly who I'm talking about. I was dating this girl one time. Her titty was sitting all up high, looking like footballs. We went to the house, she took her bra and her shirt off. Her titties dropped like a slinky. Like this little long titty heifer right here, boy. She laid in the middle of the bed. Her titty fell off the side of the bed. I was like, I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Y'all will trick a man, ladies. I got tricks for a woman, too. I was dating this young lady, man. We got to the house, got ready to do our thing. I took off all my clothes. She said, Ryan. What happened to your thing? It looked big at the comedy show. I was like, oh, bitch, you know I had the Wonder Draws on. <laughs> Thought she was gonna get a 10. I gave her ass five twos. She was very disrespectful, though. She was giving me head like she was hitting a blunt. She was like, shh. <laughs> I was like, that is very disrespectful to my dude. We look like a circus in the house. I'm doing her titties like this. She give me head like this. Keep it real, same time, bitch, same time. <laughs> Ain't nothing like a, like a white chick giving you head, though. Because they different. White women different when they give you head. They happy about it. They get real happy about giving you head. White chick like, like I'm going to give you head. Hey, 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 hey. Sisters be like, Whoa. Hey, move. Move. Andre be like, Andre. You want to put his dick in any hole we got? You want to hear me coming? I love sex, man. But sex can get you in trouble, though. Sex can really get you in trouble. Because when a woman say no, no mean what? No. What about the woman that say no, that really mean yeah, though? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You'd be like, let me just put the tip of it in. She'd be like, no. And then you put the tip of it in, you'd be like, she'd be like, stop, stop, stop. And you keep going, she'd be like, okay. <laughs> One time I offered this chick $23 for sex. <laughs> I gave her $23, man. I kept her cable bill on the next day. Because she had kids and her kids needed to watch Sprout. Sprout. I gave her $23. That was some of the best hit I had in my life, though. Some of the best sex that paid sex. I don't even want to talk to a woman no more. I just pull out my money here. Do you want it? She's like, I want it. And I do too. Let's go. <laughs> that cut all the bullshit out. You got to talk to her. You don't have to go, go, go take her to dinner. You don't have to answer no motherfucking questions. Here, here is the money, bitch. <laughs> I was dating this Bigfoot woman one time, boy. This bitch had big feet. <laughs> we called her Kickfoot. 
because every time she walked, it looked like she was kicking a ball or something. Like, like this big foot bitch kicking this ball. I thought she was a gang member. You know, in L.A., you know, you know, gang members walk like this. And you're like, motherfucker, what? You know, that's how she kicked foot was walking. Like. <laughs> I thought she was about to holler, what up, cuz? <laughs> big girls, I love big girls. Oh, they the shit. Big women are the shit. Any big women in here? See, some of y'all gonna have to tell the truth. Don't have me drop a chicken bone. <laughs> you bitches have to make a decision, start looking like double dutch. Be like, okay, do I get the chicken bone or do I tell the truth? I'm gonna tell the truth. Big girls are the shit. It's the skinny women who I hate. Because y'all are sharp. You know, y'all are sharp and shit, just skinny and sharp. Y'all walk around with your tight pants on, with your coochie print just, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Big girl, you, you don't look like that when she put her clothes on. You, you want to see her shit, you got to go down a hole like Jacques Cousteau with a flashlight. Where the big dudes at? The big dudes in here? Just one greedy black motherfucker, huh? That's old greedy black motherfucker right there, boy. That motherfucker tried to lick his fingers and fuck around and bit them motherfuckers. <laughs> Thought it was a piece of rib or something. <laughs> he black though, boy. He don't even make people that black no more. <laughs> if that motherfucker put on a white suit, look like he'd be floating through this bitch. You'd be like... You got some big feet right there, buddy. What's going on? You got ashy ankles. <laughs> you been using that 99 cent store lotion, huh? <laughs> Y'all know that 99 cent store lotion to bring your ass back to the ash. I mean, I put some of that 99 cent store lotion on, went over to this chick house to do my thing. I took off all my clothes. She was like, no, Rod, take off all your clothes. I said, all of them are off. She said, no, them gray socks. I was like, bitch, that's ash. That's ash. That is fucking ash. Don't you play with me, bitch. That's ash. <laughs> hate the 99 cent store. They haters up there. Sell me that big old cocoa water butter shit for a dollar. <laughs> Fuck my life up. <laughs> my oldest son been trying to fight me, y'all. Ain't that something? My oldest son, 31 years old, he been trying to fight me. But I don't want to fight him. Because he might whoop my ass. <laughs> and then he become my daddy. <laughs> and he start telling me what to do. <laughs> so every time he called me and talk shit, I just be like, look, don't call my motherfucking phone no more. <laughs> I had to block his motherfucking ass. <laughs> I don't want to fight my son. I told his old crazy ass mama. I said, look, bitch, you better get your kid. <laughs> she said, that's your son too? I said, no, it ain't, bitch. I didn't have him, you did. <laughs> I don't know what to do no more in life, man. You know, cause shit is changing, you know. A lot of people been getting that PPP money. <laughs> some of y'all in here right now got some of that PPP money, huh? Got them chains on, that jewelry, and new cars and shit for that PPP money. I've been getting that EBT money. <laughs> that ain't debit, that's EBIT. <laughs> Tell a motherfucker, swipe my shit. <laughs> it's going through. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I'm from South Central LA. I don't give a fuck. For real. I fuck with everybody. Blood, scripts, judges, police, pastors. I don't give a fuck. I got friends from all over. It's just them happy motherfuckers I don't like too much. 
Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Them happy motherfuckers. You know, the ones that be switching through AutoZone in the middle of the day. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you like, you just gonna switch through AutoZone all day, motherfucker? In the middle of the day? It's your happy ass out of here. <laughs> A lot of shit going on in America, man. I'm glad. Y'all glad President Trump ain't here no more? <laughs> President Trump tried to build a wall for the Latinos, for the Mexicans. He said he didn't want y'all to come over here no more. It's too late now, motherfucker. <laughs> you should have put that motherfucker up way back in back then, shit. It's too late now, shit. Y'all over here, shit. You motherfuckers and took over L.A. Mexicans and took over L.A. When y'all go to work, y'all can get fired from the job and the motherfucker still be working. Brrr, boss, I'm still here. I'm still here. Brrr. Jorge, leave. No, I'm not going to leave. Brrr. No essay. Got better with my neighborhood essay. <laughs> Love Mexicans. Y'all are the shit. Because y'all sell oranges and we sell incense. <laughs> Put both the motherfuckers together, we could have a good time, shit. Because <laughs> after you smoke a joint, you need to change the smell and you need something to eat. <laughs> Oranges and incense go together. <sighs> Latinos and Negroes and white folks and Asians. Any Asians in here? Oh, just one, huh? Mr. Kim, how you doing? <laughs> you got to swap me, huh? You the one that sold me this shirt, huh? This pro club, motherfucker. You got the liquor store and everything, huh? That's Mr. Kim. He owned this motherfucker. He'll make this motherfucker a swap meet if shit don't go right. <laughs> you know, the Asians own every motherfucking thing. I went to the swap meet. They had a Negro standing there like this. <laughs> Ah, he for sale. He for sale. Ah. He for sale. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, he for sale. <laughs> that is all my time. Uh, my name is Rob West. Thank y'all. <laughs>